Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about the big Black Friday promotion that happened yesterday. Everything that went, hap that went crazy and happened on the market. The market is absolutely flying. Huge market rise after Friday on a lot of the out of pack stuff. Icons, we'll talk about these record breaker cards and their market movements that happened today as well. As, as well as all the pack supply, it's a big thing we're going to talk about today is the just sheer supply that happened with the flash SBCs, the lightning rounds, multiple different types of lightning rounds we saw today that we have never had before, as well as the big time flashback Aguero, which is going to be an impact in this market and the objective player Rodrigo, because that's also a big W in terms of content today. Just so much was going on yesterday on Black Friday, and it's really going to affect what is going to be happening today on Saturday and into the rest of this weekend. So without further ado, let's take a look at the promo team that came out. You guys know the drill. These are the cards that came out yesterday. Only five cards in packs. Only five. And I know you can't see them all right now because they're kind of hidden behind me. I'll just close this down a bit. But uh, actually, it's really small then. So we'll just go with this. Mbappe, David Silva, Sancho, Oscar, and Falcao all having their own specific record that they broke to get into this promotion. You guys know the drill, these cards that were upgraded. Um, you've probably seen some of the stat upgrades. The biggest thing that I wanted to show is um, just the, the boost on the shooting. If you look at all of these cards that they put out today, literally every single one of them is an attacker, of course, but they all got big shooting boosts. Falcao, of course, got a massive pace boost, 64 pace up to 83, and then 80 shooting up to 90 shooting. Even Sancho went from 74 shooting up to 83 shot. Now, if you look at the records, they do have a lot of goals in, in right. We have like uh, most goals in a single UEFA Europa League campaign. Uh, youngest player to score 10 Champions League goals. That was Mbappe. Youngest to reach 30 Bundesliga goals, right? But assist for Oscar, he still got a massive shooting upgrade and pace upgrade. And then fastest to 200 Premier League wins was uh, David Silva in this new set of, uh, of players today. So we only got five players today, but there are going to be more coming. And that is one thing I want to mention as well. This was only tweeted on this uh, Sporf website, I believe, today. 1.3 million followers. They must be in the know with EA Sports because they said here five more to be released on Sunday. So it does look like we're going to be getting five more record breaker cards because right now, of course, we have best of team of the week that is in packs. And we also have the record breaker, the first five cards here. But it looks like according to this uh, Twitter page that we are going to be getting five more record breaker cards, which is very interesting. Now, I want to point out one other thing about these cards that we had today, right? With Falcao, with Oscar, especially these two cards. I kind of like what EA did with a couple of these cards today. And I, I kind of like the way that EA is going with some of this stuff because they're giving some cards that are, you know, past legends or maybe players that aren't really meta, uh, but they're very just popular in terms of they have some sort of a past that people know them for like oscar or like falcao and oscar right these guys maybe aren't super duper meta uh fifa ultimate team players that people use a lot in this game but uh these cards mean and these players mean a lot to people on this game and it's kind of like ea's giving this you know falcao oscar maybe we'll only get this one promo card during the year unless they somehow get a team of the season but at least this early on i like how ea is giving these guys promo cards and they're juicing them up now it's kind of a two-fold scenario because yes ea is giving us some of these cool items that they're making them usable they're, they're boosting their stats to a place that is really usable but also um, it's also like, hey, we're just trying to sell packs by boosting up these players for this one promo. This is Falcao. He's going to get this card like with 83 pace. Oscar's going to get a huge pace upgrade. David Silva's going to get a huge pace upgrade uh, on a card that is usually not meta and not used in this game. So that's the point that I like because they're giving us usable players of cards that are usually SBC fodder. Uh, but I also kind of see it from the mindset of, okay, you're just putting different cards into packs that you can make more promos this year because these cards usually wouldn't get upgraded like this. Like David Silva wouldn't get a special card unless you got an inform most likely. Um, but just the way EA is doing that this year, I guess I kind of commend them on that. Um, so I wanted to kind of make a quick mention of that. But again, those are the players that are in packs. 
Taking a quick look to the SBC section, there's been a lot of action in here over the day on Friday because of all the flash SBCs that have come out. And of course, this man right here, Sergio Aguero, 400 and about 50,000 coins for this card. Now, a lot of you guys say, hey, why is his overall rating less than his card in this game? This is the same scenario that we kind of had with the Witzel flashback SBC earlier this year. This is what another one of those EA meaningful moments upgrades where they are referring back to a point in time where Aguero, of course, back in maybe some of his other days, earlier days, because this is dating back to the 2013-2014 Premier League season. So we're going up 10 pace on this Aguero card. We're going up three shot as well, down two passing, up two dribbling, defense is plus three, and physical is plus one. So the biggest difference here is we went lower on the rating uh, because it was, I guess, earlier in his career, but they're going up on the pace and down on the shooting. So this is almost, if you kind of look at it this way, it's almost like a rule breakers upgrade. But of course, it is to commemorate that 2013-2014 season. This SBC is, I think, coming in somewhere around the gamut of about 450,000 coins, which a lot of people are doing. Because if you take a look at this card, four star, four star with the high agility, high balance, with now pace, with that still very high finishing and very good um, attack positioning is going to make this card pretty lethal. Yeah, Footpin says 471 right now for this Aguero card. So that is a pretty, I think that's a pretty solid price for this guy. People are going to be crafting him. And of course, people open so many packs on this Black Friday weekend uh, that a lot of people are going to be doing him. This is another player SBC that we got today. Technically, it's a flash SBC uh, record breaker Moritz Stoppelkamp for his 82 meter long range goal. This is a, a silver card technically, so you should be able to use it in the silver lounge. Not terrible content, right? Pretty easy SBC. And then a lot of the stuff that we've seen in here today as well has just been these flash SBC challenges, right? 15 minutes left in this one. We had an 83 plus double upgrade, which was kind of a scam. And then an 83 or a 81 plus three player pack, which was very interesting as well. Um, that was just the beginning of all the crazy packs that we have seen today. We'll talk about some more packs and supply stuff here in a second. But last thing to cover is the objectives. Two objectives, I think, today, or maybe just one. This was our first weak foot upgrade, I believe. Our first weak foot or skill upgrade that we've had in FIFA 21. Rodrigo got a four star weak foot. I think this is the first one, but this is a huge W in terms of right wing players that you can use in this game. Definitely not end game. It's not a live upgrading item or anything like that, but it is a very solid card. It's not super duper hard to do. Uh, and I think a lot of people are gonna go out and do this objective. And then also the Black Friday objective with this win five, 10, 15, 25, in order to win some games and get uh, some pretty decent packs. So that was kind of like a W objective. Now they are all untradeable, even though here it doesn't say that by the pack. It's as up top in the fine print that it is untradeable. It's still kind of a W objective content today as well. Now let's start talking about the market and what kind of stuff went on today. The biggest set of cards that I want to talk about that people are watching today, wondering about were these two right here. Of course, the best of team of the week. And then of course, if we go to the front page of Foothead, uh, these record breaker cards, record breakers and the best of team of the week had the biggest market movements today uh, in terms of just pure fluctuations, because what we saw on Friday was crazy with some of these fluctuations. Now, a couple hours before the content drop. So all of these record breaker cards were released into packs at uh, 2 p.m. UK, which is which is crazy. It's way different than normal, not what we're used to. We're used to all cards coming into packs at 6 p.m. UK, the normal content drop, drop, uh, drop time. But these guys came out early and that kind of made an interesting scenario for the market because people opened saved up packs. There were a few promos in the store and you did see some of these cards get supplied on the market. But what you also saw was people were expecting such a huge amount of supply at the 6 p.m. content drop time with the start of lightning rounds that these cards and the best of team of the week got panic sold hard right into 6 p.m. UK. They were taking massive, massive drops. Uh, Kyle Walker's inform was around 465,000 coins right before the content drop. That's That was down from about 520K earlier in the morning. Now, he has since kind of rebounded back. 
and kind of even went down from where he originally rebounded back to. But this guy was 450, 460,000 coins on the PlayStation as we were about to head into 6 p.m. content. And we were talking about it on stream. We were saying, yo, this stuff is just too low. And we could tell that it was panic selling that was driving the price down. So all those people that were panic selling bought back in the first hour after 6 p.m. And Kyle Walker's Inform went from 450 all the way back up to 530,000 coins in the span of an hour before the second lightning round came at 7 p.m. UK. There was a huge buyback on the market. I was able to capitalize on this as a lot of people in the stream were on those rule breaker cards. Uh, Jod and Sancho's rule breaker, what, uh, a record breaker, sorry, I'm gonna mix those two up all the time. We now have rule breakers and record breakers. So J Sancho's record breaker went from 300K flat before lightning rounds all the way up to 375 after that first hour of lightning rounds because the coin supply and the panic selling stopped and people ended up buying all of those cards. I flipped a lot of the Ollie Watkins informs today, bought this at bombing at 120 and the panic selling. These Wijnaldums I bought at 31 to 32K. These Martials I had to sell kind of all over the place, but I bought a lot of these at 61, 62. Jeez, these Joe Gomez's were bought at... um. A, where they bought 70,000 coins on Snipe. So a lot of gold cards today um, exploded during the first and second lightning rounds on the um, on the market. Like the first, that time frame where people were panic selling everything, everything exploded after that. It was honestly mental. It was crazy to see some of the bounce back on, on these cards. Renato Sanchez was another one. Renato Sanchez was, was another one today. His gold... Uh, his inform, not his gold, his inform card was 170,000 coins right before the content drop. He re rebounded all the way back up later tonight to 215K on the PlayStation is now getting dropping back down because what is happening now is, and this is the second part and the biggest part of the video that I think is going to affect what we see into today on the market is the supply that is going to make the market drop off a, a decent amount. I think there's gonna there's so much supply on some of these new gold on these gold cards that were in packs and some of these out of packs in forms that I think it is gonna make weakening sell off and dropping prices in the future because of all this supply. This is where we talk about and where we looked in graphs in, in previous years where we looked at a lot of stuff that just continued to drop over the weeks leading into Christmas. We saw a rebound after Black Friday for maybe a week or two and then drops off after that and that is one very important thing that i want to i want to touch on today because we had one of the craziest things happen in ultimate team today in terms of supply because we had the 50k lightning round which wasn't that many packs after the 50k lightning round we had we had a 100k lightning round which is normal right a 100,000 coin lightning round those packs were 250,000 100k packs they sold out in like two minutes right we had the 125k lightning round after that. And then after that, we had a crazy lightning round where they put out two ultimate packs. They put out 50k packs with no time limit or no pack limit. You could literally sit there and just open 50k, 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 50k. No pack number. It was just a total a time limit, but unlimited packs for a certain amount of time for 50ks. That was crazy. And they also did a lightning round for 81 plus seven rare player packs. I totally forget what the cost was. It was a 75,000 coin pack, I think. And it was wild. Like that lightning round, it was um, three hours after the content drop where we had 50K, 100K, 125. We thought it was going to be over. Then they came back with even more supply. And that's also what they have been releasing with these daily, uh, the flash SBCs. Take a look at some of these, right? Jumbo premium gold pack. Five rare gold player pick pack, uh, tradable. Um, there was the Aguero, there's the Rodrigo. Small rare gold players pack, that's half of 50K. Then we had the uh, uh, silver guy. Mega pack, Flash SBC. 80 plus midfielder pack. Uh, rare gold pack, plus one rare gold player. 80 plus player pack. Flash SBC, rare mixed player pack. I think we have another one coming in like 10 or 10 minutes or something like that. But the supply today has been incredible. And one thing that you did see on the market while this supply was happening during the lightning rounds, right? After that first lightning round, some cards hit their highest. We were looking at Hyun Min Sun. Hyun Min Sun was like under 80,000 coins. He was around 78, 77,000 coins on Snipe. 
today, right before the first lightning round started. There was a lot of panic selling. He got down to that, that mark. He went all the way back up to 90,000 coins, almost 90K before the second lightning round started. When then all that supply came back in, his card dropped a little bit. It, re it rebounded back up because people were still getting coins, buying cards for their team during the second and third lightning rounds. But since the fourth lightning round happened today, a lot of these cards have started to drop back off again because they've just become more and more supplied. And we've seen that with those informs as well. I was showing you the Renato Sanchez and the Kyle Walker. Those are perfect examples of this because Renato Sanchez was 215,000 coins earlier today. And the man is now in the 180,000 coin range under 190. And it's just because purely of all the supply that has come out on this game today. Packs after packs after packs. Yes, people bought all these cards up for their weekend league teams. They're going to be playing weekend league, but at some point it is going to drop back down. So I think you're going to see even today, even though we're in Black Friday and the market has gone up a ton, icons are up like crazy, right? Out of pack special cards are up like crazy. I do think you're going to see panic selling today. Uh, or not panic selling, but I do think you are going to see a market sell-off starting early today, especially on those best of Team of the Week informs. There might be some selling into 6 p.m. content. They might rise a little bit after that if we don't have any crazy pack supply or more lightning rounds or whatever. But I do think that it is all that supply is really going to affect a lot of the gold prices that were in packs, unless it's a really meta card. I do think you will see some of those kind of tail off because think about all the people that, again, going back to our Hyun Min Sun um, example here, Sun went from 78K in the panic selling, right under 80,000 coins, all the way up to 90, right? He then got, um, there was more lightning rounds. He went from 90K back down to like mid, low 80s, went right back up to 88,000 coins, more lightning rounds came, dropped down from all the supply back down to the mid to low 80s, and maybe went up a little bit since then and has now been kind of struggling to get back up in that high 80 range just because there isn't enough demand for everybody to buy these cards for the weekend league teams um, that there was. And if you look at a lot of the graphs, it was like a big panic sell, a big rise, and it's just like this all day yesterday. It was kind of crazy, all of these market movements that happened. So again, if you have your weekend league team and you're happy with it, then rock it, right? Because if you have out-of-pack special cards, like some of the rule breakers today went up a bunch. Some of the road to the final cards really went up a lot today. Road to the final hazard is like 800K right now, which is wild to me, considering this guy was like 600 something thousand when he was in packs. Yeah, hazard is 800K right now at the moment. That's pretty wild, in my opinion. Um, a lot of the road to finals went up today. A lot of ones to watches were really, really low today. Um, and they have started to rebound because people have noticed that they got really low and they were looking to invest in them. One person that I was kind of hot on today was Gareth Bale. He's risen back up from about 100 and uh, he was like almost 100K. He was like 105. He's now back up to 120. So just keep an eye on some of these OTWs that might have games today. I think I was watching um, Sané because Bayern played today on Saturday. Bayern, he's up. He's 325,000 coins. He was in the low 300s, even lower than 300,000 coins today. But this is kind of an area of the market that maybe got overlooked a little bit earlier today just because the fact that all the focus was on the new record breakers, the flash SBCs, and all of that pack supply. So I do think that pack supply is going to impact the market. Content-wise today, I don't really know if I expect anything massive. I mean, there's so much to do right now in FIFA. There's just tons of stuff to do. Flash SPCs are coming out like every two or three hours, uh, even overnight tonight. We've got a Aguero SBC. You've got this record breaker SBC. We had new icons that came out yesterday. We got 81 plus double packs. Um, we have got the team of the week packs that are out. The, um, the new player species for Aguero and stuff like that. There's just a lot to do, especially with the Rodrigo objective. It's weekend league. A lot of there's a new team event. I haven't even looked at that, but I, honestly, I don't really care about team events that much. But I do think again, you are going to see a little bit of a downturn on the market today. Some prices on the really meta cards, like some of these icons, probably won't drop off that much this weekend. Uh, since these record breakers are in packs until Tuesday, I believe. Best of team leaks in packs till Monday, I think. Record breakers are in packs till Tuesday. Um, I don't expect a ton of panic today unless EA drops a big time SBC. Now, if you're talking SBC fodder, and I haven't talked about that, it's one thing I want to mention really quick. 
talking about the actual SBC fodder on the game today, 83s before the content drop are like 1.6, 1.7K. Of course, with all of the best of Team of the Week cards packable from the Team of the Week upgrade SBC, those are now up to 2.2, 2.3K. Um, PK is kind of the guy that I use for like my SBC fodder um, barometer, if you would say. Um, this guy was like 14,000 coin, like 14,250 earlier today before the lightning rounds actually happened. Aguero came out. This guy's now back up to 16K. So doing SBCs is a bit more expensive right now because of the Aguero that came out today. A lot of people are doing that. And honestly, since we have icon SBCs that are in the SBC section, that's just more demand. Even though not as many people are doing those, people are starting to chip away at them because they open packs today. They pack some decent stuff. They say, yo, I got this. I got these cards in my club. I could go do an SBC. And then they end up going and buying cards to do that SBC. So there is a slight bit of demand for the icon SBCs that are out right now. So again, if you do want to buy any of these record breaker players today, I would expect some sell off headed into the 6 p.m. UK time frame because I do think people are maybe expecting more lightning rounds today. Um, like John and Sancho right now is 350, I believe. Now, if this guy drops on PlayStation down to like the low 300s again tomorrow, I might get interested before the content drop because people might then buy him back and then try to finish out their week and links with him. We do see that often with some of the new promo cards is panic selling into 6 p.m. on a Saturday and then rising after that because either pack supply doesn't come or the content isn't super hype and people buy some of those cards back to just try them out in weekend league. So just kind of keep an eye on that on Mbappe, David Silva, Sancho would be the main ones uh, that I would keep an eye on because I think those are the most hyped out of this new set. Yeah, um, Sancho, Mbappe, and, and David Silva would be the most hyped ones. So just keep an eye out for that today. A lot of us made coins today. I hope you guys are in that margin. Um, but there was a massive, massive rise in the market. And that was the craziest thing to see was just, again, all the coins that came onto the game today with all the supply and how that pushed the market so, so high tonight. And I do think it will start to kind of trickle down today on Saturday and especially on a Sunday, depending on the content that we see and what EA maybe tries to tease and put out with more content and stuff. So we will see what happens. But market's high. If you got stuff, maybe take the coins on it. If you think it's going to go lower, especially some of those golds, like maybe Werner, Sun, uh, I think those guys drop a little bit more. Martial, Lucas, I think those guys drop a little bit more before they would rebound again into this next week. So that's something we're going to be aware of and talking about very closely over the weekend period. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs on it. Com comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for all the support on the YouTube videos recently. You guys are incredible. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's helping out and I enjoy doing it. So again, Happy Saturday. Good luck with your weekend league. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.